What's up guys, Justin here from Real World Strength with another Technique Talk Thursday. So today we are going to talk about the strict press. Strict press is a foundational upper body strength movement um, and it's something that's surprisingly easy to screw up. So let me clarify what we're using the strict press for here. This is the strict press as a basic strength development movement. This is not the strict press as a like going from the jerk rack position to overhead. This is not a weightlifting movement per se. So what I advocate with the strict press is kind of treating it like the squat. With the squat, the linchpin, there are two of them really. The linchpin muscle groups of the movement are the quads and the glutes. The quads are the muscles that extend the knees. We want to work them through the longest possible range of motion and the glutes extend the hips. A squat executed correctly hits the glutes and the quads through their maximum ranges of motion. The same thing with the strict press with the delts and the triceps. Delts are like the glutes because they act as prime movers of the shoulder joint through multiple planes and they're large muscles meant to take on a lot of, load, uh, a lot of loading. And the triceps are similar to the quads in that they're the only major muscle that extends the elbow joint. The quads extend the knee, of course. And another similarity between the strict press and the squat if the glutes aren't doing their job in the squat, a lot of the smaller stabilizer hip muscles like the piriformis, the obturators, all the muscles with really weird names that are deep in the hip, all those muscles are called upon to do more work than they're intended to. They're supposed to stabilize the hips position in the socket. They're not really meant to actually uh, contribute to in a significant degree um, to the actual mechanical work being done. It's the same thing in the shoulder. The deltoids are really the prime movers of the shoulder joint and you've got all of the muscles of the rotator cuff, all four of them, that are really just meant to stabilize the shoulder's orientation within the socket. So we want to make sure that we're loading those delts through their longest possible range of motion. Now similar with the squat, in that you can't not load the quads, you can't not use them because it's the only muscle that extends the knee. You can't not use the triceps in the strict press because they're the only muscle that extends the elbow. So the trick is really going to be how do we use the delts through the longest range of motion. And for that it's just a, a simple matter of how we orient the shoulder. And I'm going to demonstrate the correct way to do this in addition to the um, not so correct way to do this. Along with kind of pointing out how I go about setting my grip for the strict press and how I go through executing it. Let's talk grip here. I've got my hands immediately outside the shoulders, want them nice and close, and get into position, the bar is resting across the shoulders, and then what I'm going to do is actually set the shoulders down and back, and then drive with my elbows a bit lower. So the elbows are still in front of the bar, and I'll turn to the side of it so that you can see that, um, but by pulling the elbows down relative to the body and getting that forearm uh, just in front of vertical, I'm able to do a much better job of loading the deltoids and having the and engaging all of the musculature of the upper back. Now let's talk what happens when we treat it like a jerk press. So notice how I've got my hands significantly wider, at least in, in that particular rep. Uh, my shoulder blades are also starting from a more protracted position, and my elbows are higher, obviously elbows are higher starting to lift, which means that it's all triceps. I'm not getting very much help from the anterior middle deltoid versus when I'm pulling the uh, elbows down and the, the shoulders kind of screw down and into the, um, to the spine. So pressing like this is fine if you're gonna use your legs to get the weight started, but you're gonna wanna press more like that if it's a pure um, upper body strength movement. And now here's a side view of a couple of presses from the jerk rack position, um, followed by juxtaposition of a pure uh, strength type strict press. So there you have it. That's how you do a correct strict press. Um, I like to think that I'm okay at it. I can press a little more than my body weight. So maybe listen to me. Uh, hopefully you got something out of it. Hopefully you can strict press with a little bit more um, happiness in your shoulders. And we'll see you next time.